بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam instructed us to make lots of supplication meaning make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in a sahih hadith in uh, Sunan Tirmidhi qala sallallahu alaihi wasallam a dua huwa ibadah the Prophet sallallahu said that supplication is ibadah it is worship so when you raise your hand facing the qibla with your intention and to only worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to implore your Lord with your heart open filled with iman that this is an act of ibadah this is an act of worship and it's a worship and it is a form of worship to Allah azza wa jal the almighty and in regards to that one of the dua that we're very aware of that Muslims around the world often uh, say this supplication, recite this supplication, is the dua that was reported on Anas Qal Kana Akthara dua Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhab al nar mutafakun alayhi the dua or supplication of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Anas ibn Malik radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he used to say one of these supplications that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to supplicate often and he would often supplicate this himself Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana O our Lord give us in this life good وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ hasana, And in the next life, give us good. وَقِينَ عَذَابَ النَّارِ And save us from the hellfire. What a beautiful supplication this is. Because every Muslim is in need of this. Matter of fact, every human being is in need of this. So for non-Muslims, it's upon them to become Muslim. To supplicate and surrender themselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the creator of the heavens and earth the only one worthy of worship and surrender themselves and exhibit this Islam istislam this istislam lillah bitawheed that this surrendering one's soul to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with humility based upon the unity of worship meaning worship on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with by his divine lordship and his divine names and attributes and that directing all of one's worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this dua exhibits this humility Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana O our Lord give us in this life good all of us want good in this life we all have a need for our health and the health of our families and the education of our families and our risk the wealth and our provisions and all the things that we try to do which we want good in this life no one wants and desires evil or wickedness to happen to themselves except for a person whose state of mind is not uh, normal is an abnormal state of not mind which is unlike most human beings and so the Muslim is turning in supplication to their Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala and imploring him O oh, our Lord give us good in this life Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana and in the next life good and protect us from the hellfire so wanting good in this life wanting good in the next life so that to have a good ending in this life so that a person will be an inhabitant of Jannah to Firdaus and to be protected from any punishment in the hellfire this is the goal of the Muslim this is one of this is the goal of the Muslim and this is a part of ibadah and this is a part of the divine call our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kareem 
Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنِّ وَالْإِنْسِ لِلْيَعْبُدُونَ I have not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. So our, the purpose we're created is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And supplicating to Allah is a type of that worship, is one of the types from the various ways in which we can worship our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala is through supplication. So we are in need of Allah. And when we implore Allah to Ta'ala to forgive us of our many sins and to raise us up amongst the ranks of the righteous. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with good in this life and with good in the next life. And to and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from the hellfire. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.